Hello and welcome to Only Connect, the quiz so confusing that one critic likened it to drinking a whole bottle of cough syrup and then watching Labyrinth. Well, I love that film. The gigantic but friendly shaggy beast Ludo, Jared the Goblin King, the wise and dwarfish Hoggle. So weird and adorable. Let's meet the teams. On my right, Mark Thompson a software engineer who was overtaken in the London Marathon by a man wearing four-inch heels and suspenders. Tim Worthington, an IT trainer with an interest in cinema history. And their captain, David Smith, a civil servant who had a party to celebrate turning 10,000 days old. All huge fans of the wall, they are the Darksiders. So you've won a match and lost a match so far. You've had questions on reindeer and fire extinguishers. Yes. Has appearing on Only Connect rather than watching it been a pleasant surprise or a nasty shock? <laughs> it's when you're under the studio lights, it's a completely different experience to when you're watching it on TV with all the tense music and everything. You can't pause it, that's the problem. Yeah, you, you can't pause <laughs> and have a chat with your family and go, oh, <laughs> what these people know what they're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if the fun continues this evening. You will be facing on my left, Jenny Forrest, a trainee teacher who has a Blue Peter badge and is hoping to renovate a camper van. Belinda Weir, an amateur novelist who won a 10 shilling postal order from the Puffin Post. And their captain, Oliver Forrest, a civil servant who has four framed photos of Kevin Costner in his house. All members of the Forrest family, they are the Forrests. So you've also won a match against the Electrophiles, but you lost against the Choristers. How are family relations now you're quizzing together? Um, they're better than they've ever been, which is perhaps not saying so much for how they were before we started doing the show. <laughs> Well, again, I hope that continues after tonight's game. Darksiders, you won the toss, but you've decided to throw your opponents in first. So, forests, please choose a hieroglyph. Uh, lion, please. Lion. What is the connection between these apparently random clues? Here's the first. The young ones. SPG. What's that? It's called SPG. SPG. Okay. Next. Next. Uh, are these the three letters S, P and G? You came to play. Yes, they are. I'm not going to show you the other two clues. I'd like you to tell me what they might be. Uh, GPS. That's system, right. System. Mm -hmm. And something that's GSP. What's GSP? Um, SGP. SGP. It's the ISO for Singapore. Let's bring up all the clues. Talk me through them, please. Uh, Mum knows Vivian's hamster. It was called SPG. That's exactly right. Yes. Do you know what it was short for? Well, I'm going to say Special Patrol Group, but I suspect not. No, it was oh, named it was. after okay. this elite group within the Metropolitan Police. And uh, what's Les Parisiens? Uh, is it Paris Saint-Germain? PSG. Yes, it is. PSG. So all anagrams, as it were, of the letters S, P and G. Well quizzed. Darksiders, what would you like? Uh, two reads, please. Two reads. OK. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next. Dominica is the country. It's a capital, maybe? Largest island, maybe? Next. Are these all uh, things on their flags? They are found on their flags. Very well done. What's a Cicero? You think it was the singing nun? No, it was a kind of nun, but it's clearly not. <laughs> <laughs> it's a parrot. Okay. In close. Yeah. Kind uh, of it, 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 it can sing. It yeah. sings if you train it. <laughs> Cyprus is on the flag of Cyprus. Great yeah. crested crane is uh, on the flag of Uganda. And the last one, I'm going to tell you it's the flag of Mozambique. What's on there? A machine gun. An assault rifle. <laughs> Welcome to Mozambique, <laughs> says their flag. Very well done. Do you know what is the fish emblem of New South Wales? Uh, oh, I do remember this, but uh, no, I don't remember it, apparently. It's the blue groper. So everyone's quizzing very well this <laughs> evening. Back to you, Forrests, for a choice. Uh, horned viper, please. The horned viper. OK, what is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Sheets. Is it an anagram or something? Sheets. Uh, next, please. Next, please. 
Next, please. Is it Twitter? Yes. Oh, but John Lewis yeah. isn't the actual Twitter. Oh, so it's Twitter. Three seconds. Uh, we think these are like misleading Twitter handles. So John Lewis is just a guy called John Lewis. It's not the shop John Lewis. That's absolutely right. This John Lewis is a lecturer in computer science. I mean, he might not say it's misleading because his name is John Lewis. Yeah, it's not misleading <laughs> for him. <laughs> but they are mistaken identities on Twitter in the sense that people write to them thinking they're other people. It's not the shop. Yes, The Ashes is a girl called Ashley whose boyfriend nicknames her The Ashes. How romantic. <laughs> and she gets uh, tweets. I'm not sure why people would think they could tweet the, the sporting prize, The Ashes, but people apparently do. Do you know who George Osborne is who has this Twitter handle? No. He's the chair of the Hitchin and South section of the North Hertfordshire Lib Dems. I mean, if you had known that, I'd have given you a thousand points. <laughs> but that's really awkward, isn't it, to have the wrong name? When it's somebody that's it's in politics for a different party, party yeah. he f frequently receives abusive and congratulatory quite messages. Enjoyed it if he's a victim. And Theresa May, that's Theresa May Scrivener of Bogner, and she was in the news when Donald Trump sent her quite a rude tweet saying, Why don't you concentrate on your own Islamist problems? Which would be rude enough if he was sending it to uh, Prime Minister Theresa May, but he wasn't even sending it to her, he was sending it to this harmless woman in Bogner. Mistaken identities on Twitter, well done. Dark Siders, what would you like? I abhor us, please. I abhor us. These are going to be picture clues. What do they have in common? Here's the first. Next. Next. They're all people whose names are known as somebody the something. They are all somebody the something. Who do you think would have been in the fourth picture? Richard the Lionheart. Oh, brilliant. We went with Bob the Builder. Oh. I think you're uh, perhaps <laughs> cleverer than we are. That's uh, very well quizzed again. Who are we looking at? Uh, Cedric the Entertainer. Mm -hmm. uh, the third one is Andre the Giant. Yep. Um, no idea who the second one is. I can't. Is it Chance the Rapper? It's Chance the Rapper. Yeah. It's rather excellent fellow, Chance the Rapper. He made a million dollar donation to mental health services in Chicago. Rather great. Andre the Giant, it is said, and people don't know how true this is, that Samuel Beckett used to give him lifts to school in his van in yeah. rural <laughs> France. At least that doesn't sound at all creepy. Well done, all known as something the something. Back to you, Forrests, for a choice. Uh, twisted Flax, please. Twisted Flax. It's the music question. What do these musical clues have in common? Here's the first. Next, please. Once there was a man who had a little too much time on his hands. He never stopped. Next, please. You're gonna be popular. I'll teach you the proper poise when you talk to boys. Little ways to flirt and clowns. Ooh, I'll show you what you to wear. When are you gonna come down? When are you going to land? Three seconds. Yes. Uh, they relate to the Wizard of Oz. They all relate to the Wizard of Oz or are inspired by that story. What did we hear? Uh, I think the only one we recognised was Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. OK. Was it maybe <laughs> Wicked in the third one? The third one was popular from Wicked. Yeah. The second one, Return to Oz, The Scissor Sisters, and the first one, Ease On Down the Road from The Wiz. All inspired by The Wizard of Oz. Well done. Last question of the round for you, Darksiders. Let's see if we're going to need all four clues. What do these have in common starting now? Next. Next. Um, they all have a word that connects them, like meteor shower and weather. 
I'm afraid that is not the answer. Bonus chance for you, Forrests. Uh, if you put ology after the first word, you get something that means the study of the second part. Yeah. That's oh. a perfect answer. There is a word that connects them, and it's ology. So it's not the nature of God, it's theology, nature of God. Semiology, the study of signs, oology, the study of eggs, and meteorology, weather. Well spotted. Do you know what latrinology is? Study of latrines? Yes, well, it's the study of graffiti written on lavatory walls. <laughs> I mean, that's the kind of thing people say they're doing when they've been in the lavatory too long. Oh, no, I was just doing a bit of latrinology in there. It's very important <laughs> academic research. That means at the end of round one, the dark siders have four points, the forests have six. <laughs> Sequence is round now, and forests, you'll be going first again, so please choose your sequential hieroglyph. Uh, Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. I will reveal the first in a series of clues. What would you expect to come forth? Time starts now. Uh, next, please. Uh, next, please. Three seconds. Any idea? Um, a, a single, yeah, a record released. That's quite a good uh, guess for the fourth in a sequence, but not in this case, I'm afraid. Darksiders, you have a bonus chance uh, now. I'm going to say something with one cup. For example? Uh, the World Cup. That'll do. <laughs> we went with the Holy Grail. Um. I think we were more highbrow <laughs> than you on this occasion. But one cup is the answer, and what are we looking at? Um, so, we think that one US pint is two cups. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that Liverpool FC won three cups in that season. They did, the League Cup, UEFA Cup and the FA Cup. Yeah. And um, I'm guessing that figure sitting under a tree has four cups in it's, the picture. It's the four it's of cups. the four of cups right, okay. in the tarot deck. Okay. Very well done. Do you know about the transfer to Liverpool of Michael Stensgaard? No. It was one of the least successful transfers of all time. He transferred, but dislocated his shoulder putting up an ironing board and <laughs> never played a first team game for the club. So, even though it's obviously a very sad story, I think it reflects incredibly well on Stensgaard. You barely imagine today's footballers have to brush their own teeth and everyone's sitting on an ironing board. <laughs> very good, you get a bonus point. And what would you like for your own question? Uh, twisted flax, please. Twisted flax. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. <laughs> Editor of the Evening Standard. Not it, I'm afraid. Forrest, do you know? Uh, that's what we were going to say. Um, Prime Minister? Is the right answer. I must have put George Osborne in all your minds <laughs> with that earlier Twitter question. Is it, is it Brown? It's Gordon Brown, and you were talking about Gordon Brown earlier. But yes, it was only Gordon Brown who was Shadow Secretary of State for Trade and Industry, then Shadow Chancellor, then Chancellor, and then Prime Minister. George Osborne took a slightly different route to becoming editor of the Evening Standard. Uh, never, uh, at time of recording, Prime Minister. So well done, Forrest. You get the bonus point. And what would you like? Uh, lion, please. Lion. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Uh, next, please. Three, one, two, three, so it would be four. Well, it's the third, the fourth. It's the fourth because it's the fourth. Yes. Uh, foo, F-O-U. Is the right answer, and why? Uh, so it's one missing the first letter, two missing the second letter, three missing the third letter. 
and four missing the fourth letter. Exactly right. Simple as that. One, two, three, four, but we've taken away those letters. Darksiders, what would you like? Two reads, please. Two reads. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next. Four out of five, Lennox Lewis. Is the right answer. I was hoping you'd say George Osborne. <laughs> <laughs> we nearly did. What is the sequence? We have absolutely no idea other than they're boxers. OK. I, have they all beaten someone famous like Muhammad Ali or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> nearly as great as Muhammad Ali, Frank Bruno. Yeah. Yeah. These are the losses Frank in Bruno's Frank Bruno's yeah. career. Yeah. Yeah. And Frank Bruno lost five times. Do you know who five out of five would have been? Uh, Nigel Benn? No, it was Mike Tyson again. OK. So five losses in the career of the great Frank Bruno and fourth would have been Lennox Lewis. Do you have a favourite boxer? Um, I like Rocky Balboa. He's probably my favourite. <laughs> okay. I like uh, Chris Eubank. Yeah. I oh. like a boxer with a lisp and a monocle. <laughs> That's my kind of boxer. Well done. Back to you, Forrests. What would you like? Uh, horned Viper, please. Horned Viper. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. Sorry, 4.140 a.m.? Not it, I'm afraid. Darksiders, do you know? We think it's 1 a.m. 4.1 a.m. 4.1 a.m. is the right answer. I think you know what the sequence is about. Do you uh, know what it is? I'm not sure. I th we thought it might be binary. It, it is, is to do with binary. Can you explain? So it's just if you were to write these times out in not 12-hour 12, 12 format, but 24-hour yeah. format, it would be 0, 0, yes. 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. 0011, and so the next one is 0100. Exactly. So if you were to write the numbers 1 to 4 in binary, you would get the version of these times in the 24-hour clock. Well spotted. You win the last question of the round. It is the water question. What would come forth in this picture sequence? Here's the first. Uh, looks like some kind of sports court or something like that. Next. No, this is, um, I think it's a netball court. I think it's a position for netball. I think one, two, two, one. I think, I think, okay. I think she was going for it. Yeah. Mm. Uh, we're going to say one, two, two, and then one in the middle in a circle. Not it, I'm afraid. Okay. You're thinking of a netball court? Yes. And you've got goal attack and wing attack sort of next to each other. And then wing defence and, yeah. Yes, no, that is not how they would begin the match, I'm afraid. Okay. Forrest, do you want to go for a bonus point? I can show you the third clue. Yeah, so... What are you saying? Five, OK, so... Five, five. The same as picture three, but with five across the middle and a centre circle. Five each five side. Each, five each side across the middle. And a that circle. is correct. The same as picture three, but with five each side. What is it? Is it foosball, table football? It is a table football oh. table. You're right, it's sport, but those lines are a little clue that it's yeah. the twiddling thing. So you've got the goalkeeper, defenders, attackers from the other side, so we need to fill in the midfield. Oh, that's brilliant. With five from each team. <laughs> Very sporting of you to say. Well done for getting the bonus. And that means at the end of round two, the dark siders have eight points, the forests have ten. <laughs> Good news for the Darksiders. It's time for the wall. You'll be going first. Would you like lion or water? We'll take water, please. Two and a half minutes to solve the water wall, okay. starting now. 
Thanks. Feathers McGraw is in um, uh, Wallace and Gromit. He's yes. a penguin. Yeah. Um, any other penguins here? Peso's a penguin. Peso's a penguin. Peso's um, any other Tooks, I think, is a penguin. Tux, we've got Parker Cagool. Parker Cagool and Iraq. Okay, yeah. so um, shall I just try a random uh, H on you? Oh, oh, there's, there's Anza's Mamas and Papas, Fortnum and Mason. Marks and Spencer's. Marks and Spencer's. Yeah. Um, um, any others? What's the Pond about? Okay, must no. be another one. Uh, maybe, okay, right, let's try the. Um, we've got Parker, Anorak, Cagool. Uh, what would be another one? Tux. Tux? That's what that's um, Tuxedo, yeah. That's probably slightly different though, isn't it? And Duster. Um, Bolero is a dance. Um, and a skirt, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Should we try the penguins again? Yeah, so Feather of Bra. Tux. Um, oh peso. Yeah. Tux. Tux. Peso. peso. Bolero? No, I've never tried that before. Uh, Manus H, maybe? H. Duster. Holland, maybe? I don't know. There might be one from Happy Feet or something like that in here. Uh, we've got Wright. Uh, okay. Uh, Marsh is better, I've got one. Holland and Barrett. Holland and Barrett. Uh, and Barrett. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right, okay, H and Claire. You said H, H and Steps. H and Claire. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Marsh is going to put Marisa Holland and Barrett. And yeah. then we'll try that. And for John, we'll try H. Yes, okay, right. Yes. Um, so what has that taken out? Um, so we've got Claire. Go, Parker, and the did we try that? No. Bolero. Um, Bolero. 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 Try Bolero. There might be a Bolero jacket. I don't know. Yes. Okay, right. Yeah. Three lives uh, now. Tux. Right. So what we got? Tux, peso. Uh, Feathers, tux, tux, peso. So, so one of these must be... Yeah. Um, Grim, maybe? We've already tried... Uh, Parker. 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 Tried Parker. No. Nothing. Uh, Marks, maybe? Yeah. No. One right. more life. Three. Tucks, right, slow down. Yeah. Okay, so let's yeah. just wait. What have we tried already? We've tried Parker, we've tried Mars. Right, so stop and try Mumble. Hang on, hang on. Okay, what will the other ones be? Right. What's it most likely to be out of those three? Uh, Ten seconds. Mumble. Yeah. You've yes. sold yes. the wall with one life to go oh. in just a few seconds. What about the connections? Tell me about the first group starting Fortnum. They're all, they're all the first, first half of... Are they shops? Are they all... First <laughs> half of shops. We're not fashionable people. Um, <laughs> Next group, Bolero and so on. Uh, they're all sort of waterproof jackets, kind of. Uh, well, they're all waterproof if you make them out of rubber, but yeah, they're all mm. just jackets, jackets and coats. Mm. And the next group, starting Peso. They're all fictional penguins. They are the penguins. <laughs> yeah. Why are you looking at that thinking, what's most likely to be a penguin's name? Mumble. Mumble, yeah, of course. That was That's the, last the one, one from yeah. Happy Feet. And the last group, starting Grim. Uh, I can't give you long. Wing. Yeah. Ring is not it. No. Fandango. You never <laughs> tried saying them out loud. Grim, Marx, Parker, Wright. They're homophones for brothers. The oh, Wright yeah. brothers, the Brothers Grimm, and I so on. I didn't think Parker Brothers. I didn't see Yeah. Them. OK. <laughs> but you've got four points for solving the wall and three points for the connections, total of seven. Let's bring in the forests now, give them the other wall, the lion wall, see how they get on with it. You have two and a half minutes, starting now. This is sweets to ruin this what do you So, Ophie's from Switzerland, Switzerland to yeah. learn Victoria Knotts. Um, it's UBS a Swiss bank. Uh, it's Swiss You've got UBS Dow. Um, okay, uh, oh, lemon. Let's think. Intertwine. Is that a wide one? Twin. Yeah. Um, Basking shark. Whale shark. Uh, whale shark. Yeah. Lemon shark. Thresher shark. Thresher shark. Sounds like a shark, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, nacho. Is that a guitar? Don't you? Oh, no. oh um, triangle shaped things. Okay. Nacho. Uh, Toblerone. Toblerone. And what else is triangle shaped? So, um, did we have Swiss things? Swatch? Oh no, what, uh, watch, 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 Victoria watch. Knox. Is oh, that a watch thing? Well, I think it's a Swiss thing and Swatch, swatch and UBS. Yeah. So, what's the other well, Swiss thing? Well, I'll try some of these. Anything else? Okay. Um, Three so lives now. Let's okay. think. Could have um, sharks. Carpet shark sounds like a shark. Yeah, basking, so carpet, basking, whale basking, shark. Whale, whatever. So, what That's not going to be a shark. They have a word in them. Oh, yeah, wine. Oh, wine, wine, gin, cider. And what's the other? Ale. 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 Okay. And okay. the others are sharks. Yeah. 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 Fresh yeah. shark, lemon shark. Carpet. Yeah. Shark. Not heard of carpet shark. Yeah. That's it. You saw the wall. Very well done. But do you know why? Let's look for the connections. Plectrum, Toblerone, and so on. Um, all sort of triangle shaped. That's things. right. Dale, an upside down triangle. It's an operator in mathematics. And the next group, starting Schindler. Uh, I think these are all 
things from Switzerland. What things from Switzerland? They're all brands from Switzerland. Brands or companies from Switzerland. Yes, UBS is a, a bank in Switzerland. All Swiss brands and companies. And what about the next group, starting whale? Uh, these are words that are hiding kinds of alcohol. So ale, wine, gin and cider. That's it. And the last group, lemon, carpet, thresher, basking. Well, types of shark. Types of shark. Yes, a carpet shark you didn't know. Apparently it's got a mottled skin that looks like a carpet. I mean, speak for yourself, I would say. My <laughs> carpets are perfectly clean. <laughs> So you've got all four groups and the connections plus the bonus of two. That is the maximum of ten. Very well done. Let's have a look at the overall scores. The Darksiders have 15 points. The Forests have 20. So everything will be decided in the Missing Vowels round. Well, I say everything. I mean the outcome of this particular quiz. One of the teams is going to the quarterfinals. One is going home. Fingers on buzzers, teams. I can tell you that the first group are all first things. Forests. Genesis. First book of the Bible. Forests. Neil Armstrong. First man on the moon. Forests. Doctor No. First Bond film. Forests. Breakfast. First meal. Next category, second things. Dark Siders. Lunch. Correct. Forests. From Russia with love. Second Bond film. Forests. Buzz Aldrin. Second man on the moon. Forests. Exodus. Well done. Next category, third things. Darksiders. Harry Lyon. The third man. Darksiders. This set of clues. Well done. Forests. This clue in this set of clues. There you go. <laughs> Forests. The round two. before the storm. That's Sorry, not it, I'm afraid, Dark Siders, do you know? The round before this one. Yes, it is. Next category, fourth things. Dark Siders. This round. Yes, it is. That one was April, the fourth month, but the bell has gone for the end of the quiz. And after some brilliance from both teams here, the winners and through to the quarterfinals with 27 points are the Forests. Dark side as you finish with 20, I'm really sorry to lose you. You've been brilliant. You've given some great answers. You're a really fun team. I'm really sorry to say goodbye. Thank you for playing. And good luck to your team later in the competition. Before we go, I've had a letter from a viewer. It's uh, Lynn Dodsbury of Winchester. He says, Dear Victoria, love the show. Me and my wife watch every week. Eileen always tells me off, though, because at the start of the missing vowels round, I always quip, isn't that just the Welsh language? Thanks for sharing that, Lynn. Unfortunately, it is a hate crime, and I've passed your letter on to the police. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>